What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 106 Uso figures. So we do have Jimmy and Jay here, man. These figures do look pretty damn good. I'm pretty excited about it. It almost seems like these are Elite conversions of their Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive figures, which we got not too long ago. And if you guys want to grab these, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course, over there when shopping, save yourself some money. Also, get in on their Cyber Monday 3.0 sale, where they have a bunch of figures up for sale at cheaper prices than retail. So get over there, check it out, use code MDTOYS, I'd greatly appreciate it. But as you guys can see, we do have our modern packaging over here. We have Jay, we have Jimmy, we got some good stuff going on, and I think we finally do have like some definitive Jimmy and Jimmy. Jay head sculpts for each character, especially for Jimmy, by God. But here is Jay looking pretty good. Handsome man right there on the front. You got Jay Uso, got the front viewing window. Still not a big fan of this packaging, to be honest, but you have the series number, you got their faces, and then you do have Jay on the back right there. Got his little bio read, and then you do have the rest of the figures in the wave, which of course we will review on the channel. And then we do have Jimmy over here, who's looking like a Jimmy J. Jimmy, and he's looking alright. He's looking good right there in the front viewing window. His name, series number, big WWE logo, of course the side profile there. And the same as him. This is their War Games gear from last year. Not this past year. Obviously, we're seeing Punk return. But last year when the Bloodline took on everybody. And it was a big old deal and everything like that. So, should be a fun one, man. Can't wait to do it. We're going to crack these guys out of their packaging. Take a look at what they look like on the rotating base. And then, of course, dive into all the details of the Usos Elite 106 action figures. So here are the Elite 106 versions of Jimmy and Jay Uso. Now, of course, at the time of release of this, they are not really together, right? I mean, they're kind of on their own separate pads for the first time, and it's kind of just this, you know, it's a big thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big thing. I can't wait for it. And just the entire storyline of this bloodline and Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns and everything wrapped up that we got last year was fantastic. So having these figures here is great. I think these are going to be pretty comparable. Now, I don't think these figures are perfect by any stretch, and we're going to, of course, dive into those things. But they are a tag team, and usually we do review the tag teams together. So what we do typically is we'll take all of their accessories that you get with both guys, put them together, and then we will do the same thing with the figure. So if it's two separate characters that don't really have anything to do with each other, we'll do their accessories and then the figure, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the other guy's accessories in the figure. But in this case, since they are a tag team, we're just going to run through everything all together, and then we'll do the same thing when we take a closer look at the figures themselves. But nonetheless, man, I do have my gripes with these figures before we even get started, so this should be fun, man. Let's buckle the hell up, dive into it, and get into G. Jimmy and Jay Uso from Elite 106. All right, guys, so getting into the accessories that you get with the Elite 106, Jimmy and Jay Uso. Again, they are a tag team, so we are going to cover this together. Now, on the left side of the screen, you do have Jimmy's accessories. And on the right side of the screen, you have Jay's accessories. So you definitely get more with Jimmy for whatever reason. It's probably because he's been given, like, the short end of the stick a lot of the times on his head sculpt. So maybe that's what it had to do with. I don't know. However, both Usos do come with a cloth goods with one shirt, and it is the red version. Now, we have seen the black versions before. We saw those on their Ultimate Editions, and we we got to see it with Solo Sokoa's Elite 104 figure, but these look pretty good. Now, they are not velcro list like we saw with the Ultimate Editions and the Solo, so I don't know why they did that. I'm not entirely sure here. And also, the, the red is a bit light compared to, you know, like a deeper red like the shirts and their joggers actually are on the figures, but they're still nice shirts. I'm never going to complain about cloth goods. These look really good. I actually like the We The One shirts, and I think they look good on the figures, so yeah, I, th I like this a lot. I I'm all in for cloth goods on my figures. Now, with the Jimmy figure, you also get the rose petal neck. Necklace. I do believe it's called an Ula Lole. I may have butchered the name of that, but I'm pretty sure that's what the, the correct name for it is, having to do with the Samoan culture. But it looks pretty nice. We've seen this with Roman before. We've seen this with the Usos before, but I do believe this is the first time we've seen this specific mold in red, and other times we've seen it in white, and then Roman had a different sculpt. So I don't know exactly, but we do get this with Jimmy. Now, another thing you get with Jimmy is two different hair sculpts. Now, this is the first version that comes out of the packaging, and this is the new Jimmy head sculpt, which I think looks pretty damn good. I think it does look like Jimmy. This is the better Jimmy head sculpt than we've seen in the past few years, especially. Y'all remember the Elite 54 Jimmy Uso? Jesus Christ. But you do have this like hair push back, which it's kind of like that wet mid-match sort of hairstyle. And then you can remove this, which I, I don't know. I don't think it falls off too easily, so that's good as well. But there's the hair. And then you have this separate hair piece where it's kind of like just down. And it's very stiff. I will say it's definitely stiff and you got to kind of like finagle it in there. But once you get it in there, I think it looks really, really good. Kind of looks like Dylan Brooks a little bit. Or I'm 
getting Dylan Brooks vibes, but this hair sculpts much better in my opinion. I like the, the hairstyle here. Hair going off to the side right there. This hair is a little bit warped. May have to heat that up a little bit, but the hair color looks good. I like the hair down. This is really nice. And I like the interchangeable hair piece. I think that's pretty genius. We're going to see that a lot in 2024 from different elites, so I'm excited to see that moving forward, but this does look really good. And then each Uso does come with the same amount of hands. You get interchangeable fists with each guy. Now on Jay's, his right hand does have like some white tape on it, the way it was taped. So each pair of hands on the right side, Jay does have some tape on there. Then you have Jimmy's mic holding hands. You have Jay's mic holding hands with again the hand tape on the right side. And then each guy does come with We The One hands. So you get the pointer fingers, point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. And then again, you do get Jay here with the white hand tape over there, but he's still pointing at people, telling them We The Ones and telling them to indeed shut the hell up. So getting into Jimmy, man, starting out with the head sculpt. I actually like this head sculpt and we know the track record with Jimmy, which we've touched on. Jimmy does not have a good track record when it comes to head sculpts, but I think this one pretty much captures him. Is it as good as Jay's? Maybe not, but I still like it. I think they really did a good job here on this head sculpt, and I do have the regular like hair sculpt on there. I like the, I prefer this one over the one push back. But this is one thing that I don't understand about this figure, is they gave him the Daniel Bryan torso. I do not, like, what? What do we do? Why did they do that? I have no idea. There was no reason to do that whatsoever. No reason whatsoever to give him the Daniel Bryan torso. Now, they both have the Daniel Bryan torso, and in years past, which we'll see in the comparison shot of the video, that's not always been the case. It's always been the Matt Hardy style torso, the Bo Dallas style torso, so I don't know why they switched that. It used to be the Uso style torso, too. Like, people would call it the Uso's torso. Now they went back to the Daniel Bryan style. I hate this body mold for anybody. Literally anybody. It really doesn't fit anybody. You can get away with it with certain guys like Sami Zayn and, like, certain guys, but I don't like it for AJ Styles. I don't really care for it on Shawn Michaels. I don't care for it all the way around. I don't like it on this Jimmy Uso, so there's just that, but he does have all of his tattoo deco going all the way around here. Now, I don't know if all of his tattoos are up to date, but up until this point, I'm pretty sure it was up to date, but he doesn't have a sleeve or anything. Now, this is really where the figure is differentiated between, like, besides the head sculpt, it's mainly about the lower half here. Now, this is the Ultimate Edition lower half, but he does have his red joggers on, and him and Jay have the same exact leg mold. They have the same exact deco. It's just flip for the most part, and he has these little black designs. He's got the, the black knee pads on there, and then on the back, he has the outline pocket, and then he has bloodline going down the left leg, and then he does have the little black cuffs down here. Now, on these black cuffs, Jay actually doesn't have the black cuffs, but Jimmy does, but they also have the Ultimate Edition shoe mold from their figures, and this is the John Cena Ultimate Edition shoe mold from, like, Series 5, which is not the best, like, especially with this combo of, of the jogger pants, but let's look at, let's take a look at Jay, and then we'll take a look at their articulation and stuff, and get into some comparison. So, getting into Jay, man, starting out with the head sculpt, this is one of the head sculpts we saw on his Ultimate Edition, and I actually like this head sculpt. I like the gritting head face and, like, all the different stuff. He's got, like, some salt and pepper in the beard. Got the little red rat tail back there, which is, I'm pretty sure what they call that. But the little, like, uh, little, little ponytail right there. I like the fade on the sides on the beard. Looks really, really good. Again, they did give him the Daniel Bryan torso, and it just makes his tattoos look weird. Now, again, he's not up to date on all of his tattoos, right? Like, they're, his whole back is tatted now, and at the time of recording this, I'm sure this was updated, but, you know, he's added, like, that. He's got that palm tree. He's got, like, all those back tats and stuff like that. So that'll probably be on a later figure, I'm sure. But he does have his red sleeve, which I really like. I like my Usos to really have like two sleeves, like each guy have a sleeve. But I know at this at this juncture, Jimmy wasn't wearing it. But nonetheless, like all of his tattoo deco looks really, really clean. I like it a lot. But again, the pants are the exact same, except the bloodline is going down the right leg in that same like gothic or old gothic style font. And then at the bottom of the cuffs, it doesn't have the black design. It just has solid red, but they have the same shoes, same, you know, leg mold and everything like that. But, but I do like the J figure. I just don't know why they gave him the Daniel Bryan torso. So before we get into comparisons and stuff, I did just want to take a look at the figures. Like, just look at them, man. They just look so skinny. Does Jay look not, like, he just looks so skinny. Now, you can't put shirts on there to fix that, and I'm sure it won't look that bad, but it's definitely noticeable how skinny they are compared to their heads and stuff like that, but the biggest issue that I have with these figures is just the articulation in general. Now, the, the waist is tight and everything like that, but these legs are very, very tight. They are on ball joints, which is a good thing. They don't have the drop-down hips like their Ultimate Editions have. Obviously, they're not Ultimate Editions, but they do have the upper thigh cut. The double, they are pinless joints, so they're very tight. I've talked about this multiple times on the channel, but the pinless joints are always super tight, in my opinion, but they don't have shin cut, which bothers me, but they do have the Ultimate Edition shoes, which I have griped about for years. They just, they need it. We need to have seen a shoe mold. I passed that on to Mattel. Hopefully, that will be the case there, but uh, it, they just fall forward too easy. We need a new shoe mold. I'm not getting a ton of looseness out of these guys, but one of my big issues is just trying to get these guys just sit on like one knee is just really that like you're it's very difficult man like the 
that is about as high as you can push it. And then if you were to try to push this ankle down, you're going to bend this peg and you're going to run into issues there to get down on a knee. And then if you try to widen it and then tuck this out and bend his MCL a little bit, like you can get like close, but it just doesn't look that good. You know, he just look like, look at this guy. He looks like he's, he's torn his ACL. Like somebody just crossed him over the court and he's like, Duh! so I don't know. I just don't like this leg mold for that reason. It's just, it's just not fun to pose around, man. I, I don't have a good time posing these guys around. Now, not to say, you know, you could, you could do like a really nice super kick, I'm sure, right? Like you can do a fine super kick, like get this foot up here. You got that ultimate or, you know, articulation right there and he can slap the leg and you got this arm going up. Like you can get a fine super kick in here. That's not really the point. Yeah, you could super kick guys, but as far as like posing these guys around, it's, I don't know. I'm just, I don't have a fun time posing these guys around with this new leg mold and it's not brand spanking new, but I mean, it is newer. It is a newer leg mold for that matter, but I don't know. You guys can let me know, but nonetheless, I'm going to, nah, before we, before we get into their figure comparisons with their shirts on, I do want to look at some older Usos and show you the torso difference. So just for our first set of Uso comparisons that are shirtless, here's the SummerSlam J Uso Elite and the Elite 95, like Jimmy Fix Up right here with like some different stuff going on. It's got an ultimate head sculpt, some different things going on, but you guys get the point. The whole point is the torso choice. The torso choice between the old Usos, like Bo Dallas, Matt Hardy style torso, and then the Daniel Bryan torso. And again, it's not the biggest deal ever, but look at the pec tattoo right here. Look at the pec tattoo right here on Jay. Look how much more natural it looks over here compared to over here. It's just, it, I don't know, it's just like too much. It like doesn't fit quite right. And then over here, it just looks aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And again, it's not like the biggest deal ever, but it's definitely something to, to point out. And it's something that I want to talk about. But yeah, I, I definitely prefer this torso, but you guys can let me know what you think. Is it that big of a deal? Or are you like, eh, or whatever. I do like that he has the updated tattoos. It's just, I, I prefer this torso over here personally between them. But now I'm going to put their shirts on and get into some other Uso figure comparisons. So for some black jogger Uso comparisons with the shirts on, something I just discovered is they put the black shirt graphic on the red shirt and just passed it off, man. Which I guess isn't the biggest deal ever, but it's definitely not accurate to the real shirt. Shout out PWR Lucha. This man has the accurate shirt right here. So this is some custom shirts right here that I got from my man Giovanni. Huge shout out to Gio and PWR Lucha because this is his work and this is the accurate shirt, man. You guys can kind of see the color too. The, this color on the PWR Lucha one is more accurate than this too and you guys can see this is the Ultimate Editions over here and the shirt graphic is the same shirt graphic when it's supposed to actually be like this because if you look even closer on the back of the packaging, these are the accurate shirts that the customs are wearing compared to, you know, the official Mattel release. So it's definitely something that I didn't really even put two and two together but now that I see it but this is the Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive Usos over here that are fixed up a little bit but it is, I mean, it's effectively the exact same leg mold and then we do have the SummerSlam Elite Jay Uso and Top Picks Jimmy Uso Elites right here in the Black Bloodline Joggers, which I love. I love both pairs of these Usos, but I do like this red pairing as well. But it is cool to like see all these up next to each other and to see the custom shirt up next to the official Mattel one. And then for some more Uso figure comparisons, we do have the Elite 64 Fix Up Usos up here with like some updated head sculpts and we the one shirts, like our older red jogger Usos. And then we have the Elite 54 White Usos, which is our first like heel turn modern-ish Uso figures from like 2016, 17. Dude, these were such a big deal when they first released, and I begged Mattel for years and years for Black Jogger Usos, and we didn't get them until last year, so that just kind of tells you, but here's the god-awful Jimmy head sculpt up next to the modern Jimmy head sculpt, compared to the non-Jimmy Jimmy head sculpt. So it's just like a whole big thing, but look at this. Well, look at these right here, man. Not even comparable. Jesus Christ. Who is this guy? But it is cool to like see all these Uso figures up next to each other, because I really do enjoy them, but there is some more Uso figure comparisons. And then for our last comparison, we do have our Bloodline comparison here with our like promo fix up Bloodline Roman Reigns. Then we have the Elite 106 Usos. Then we do have the Elite 104 Solo Sokoa and the Tribal Chief versus Beast Incarnate 3 pack Paul Heyman Elite. And it is cool to see these all up next to each other. And of course, when we get our updated Solo in our next wave, that'll be really fun to see as well. And we need our Ultimate Edition Roman to of course pair with this, but it is cool to see all these. We really need updated promo Roman Reigns, like Elite versus of, of Roman Reigns and Joggers to match the Usos and the others. But nonetheless, that does it for your Uso figure comparison. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Elite 106 Jimmy and Jay Uso figure reviews, man. I mean, really, my biggest gripes with these figures is just the posability. Like, I just don't like this leg mold. I know we saw this leg mold on the Ultimate Editions. We're going to see this leg mold moving forward on different figures. I think it's going to be featured on the Elite 107 Finn Balor. So it's just kind of that new Jogger mold. And I've said this in the past. You guys know that I, I despise when figures don't have shit cut and so these figures don't have shin cut and the John Cena shoe mold is a whole thing
things. So when you compare, when you combine this leg mold with John Cena shoe mold, it's gonna give you a lot of rickety stuff. They're not very poseable figures in terms of like like putting uh, them on their knees, like trying to put them in like a one knee stance or like I don't know, just different poses. You're gonna find yourself giving. I don't know. At least for me personally, it gives me headaches trying to pose these guys around. Not that they don't look great aesthetically. I think that they have really good head sculpts. I really like the red gear. I like the red shirts, of course. I don't like that they changed their torso mold as well. I don't think that was necessary. You know, they used to have that Matt Hardy torso mold, and then they switched over to this Daniel Bryan torso mold. Makes no sense whatsoever. It, it makes no sense. I mean, every other Jimmy and Jey Uso that we saw to this point had the Daniel Bryan torso, so I don't know why they made that switch. I definitely don't like that switch, because I, I feel like it makes the tattoos sit a bit weird on the torso, especially in Jay's case. And I know he doesn't have all his tattoos, which is a whole other thing. Like, this figure is not even up to date, but I mean, this is from last year, so like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tear it to shreds right there, and you can put a shirt on there. It's not that big of a deal. I just think that the, the jogger mold right here is not my favorite. And like, while aesthetically, like right now, they look really good, right? They look good. I think they're gonna look good on shelves. Aesthetically pleasing to the eye, for sure, as far as the figures go. I just, they're, just posing these guys around is just not fun for me, personally. And I like the old jogger mold better than than this jogger mold. And the last jogger mold didn't even have lower leg cut either, but I think it's just because these legs are so stiff. And they are on ball joints, so it's not like they're not on ball joints or something like that. I, I don't know. It's just kind of this weird thing. You guys can, if you have these figures or you know what I'm talking about with the Ultimate Editions, you can let me know. But I would say they're still very fair figures. If you didn't get their Ultimate Editions, these are still very fair figures. I really like the interchangeable hair piece, which I do believe this is the first time we're seeing this on an Elite figure. With this Jimmy figure, I do believe that's a first thing. I love this head sculpt. I love this Jimmy head sculpt. I love this specific hair piece with the, with the hair down. The hair pushback, I'm not a biggest fan of, but I do really like this hair piece that he's wearing right here. And Uso figures are just really fun to collect anyways, right? So when you compare the accessories and you combine them and make really cool fix-ups, like I'm already going wild with fix-ups in my brain for fixing these guys up and putting them in different gears and like making them look great and changing their shoes. Like there's so many cool things you can do with Uso figures, which I've done in my collection already. And I look forward to doing that with these guys just because they're such, they're, they're very toyetic. They're badass characters characters and all those things. It's just the leg mold is really where I don't like it. And then the torso mold's not my favorite. But at the end of the day, they are aesthetically pleasing. And I think that you are going to like these if you like the Usos and you want, you know, that Survivor Series gear. These are going to fit right in there. And it just depends on if it's worth the upgrade or you like this gear better than the Ultimate Edition and like different things, man. You definitely probably get a lot more bang for your buck with the Ultimate Editions as far as like cloth goods and titles and different stuff. But, you know, and you get butterfly joints and stuff. So I don't know. It's just kind of like pick your poison. But at the end of the day, I really do like the figures, but they're not perfect by any stretch, and uh, I, I've listed my cons in this video, so you guys can just let me know what you think of these figures down in the comment section below, because I'm kind of a stickler for parts choices anyways, but not everybody's like that, so I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but if you want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. WrestlingFigures.com, I'd greatly appreciate you guys using the code. Get in on all the Cyber Monday deals and such as well, but that is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. I always appreciate you fellas for all the stuff that you do for me on a daily and monthly basis. I always appreciate every single one of you guys. Huge shout out to those fellas over there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name toys. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.